We have a few questions that we ask everyone that comes into the cultural hall. The first one being, uh, do you have a calling right now? And if so, what is it? I, uh, the ward employment specialist, oh. which I volunteered for. or I asked to be called as a ward employment specialist because I was unemployed. I figure, yeah. um, <laughs> you figure if there's a way yeah, to get I'm, you like, a I'm job, like, yeah, yeah let's, let's get me really close to this. And, and so, yeah. you know, I ended up showing, I ended up showing a lot of people how to, you know, you know, get on there, get on the uh, church's website and use LinkedIn and so on and so forth. And, but I still looking for a job myself. So, okay. Anyway. Uh, wh- if, what kind of job? Maybe we can help you out. Oh, I'm i I'm an engineer. I have a BS in mechanical engineering from ASU 2000 in 2001, but I worked in civil engineering I've been an adjunct professor, and I worked in brain surgery. And I really wish I would have specialized in rocket science in college for that reason. Wow. Because then I could take rocket science and brain surgery. Yeah. <laughs> so. so if you maybe have an offer for, uh, for Joe Anderson, you can go to the Contact Us tab at uh, theculturalhall.com and get in touch with us there. So uh, though you asked to be the ward employment specialist, let me ask you this. If you could request any calling within the church, what would you, what would you do? You can be anything. Hmm teaching a Sunday school for the, you know, 14, 15 year olds. And, um, or uh, I like teaching elders quorum too, because I, I'm not a typical teacher. I love asking questions that aren't, I, I have to remind people, guys, I'm not asking this because I have an answer or because I want, to, want the Sunday school answer. Yeah. Know? What about so, these things? Okay. And I'll, I'll quote Charles Darwin and stuff like that. Uh, uh, but never, but to always bring up a, a, a different point. Right. Than, but I like bringing up the surprising stuff. So okay, yeah. uh, and then we ask people to uh, to climb up on the Ramiumptum is what we call it when to give an opportunity to tell people where they can find you. I know we can find the book in Deseret Book and on Amazon.com. Uh, do you have a like a Facebook page that people can follow you or Twitter or any of those things? You can write to me at possibly Joe at Gmail dot com or possibly okay. Publishing at Gmail dot com. Uh, my my blog site is uh, howcanyoupossibly.com. I I should have done better at blogging and Facebooking and so forth, but uh, I wish I could get someone else to blog for me. I'm just no good at it. Uh, I wrote a whole book and and had didn't and have, didn't have a web presence, and so I decided to copy and paste parts of my book to the blog, and that's how I got away with blogging something. So okay, and then uh, finally the there's final- a Facebook page called How Can You Possibly as well. Oh great! So, and people can just go there and like it. How can you possibly? Yeah. So I go to Amazon and like. More, how can he possibly be a Mormon and a Democrat as well? But it's a whole series, too. I don't know that we mentioned that. Um, it's a series where it starts now with how can you possibly be a Mormon and a Democrat and then moves into... Yes, other authors have joined my ranks. How can you possibly make a case against teaching by Penn State Professor Larry Spence? Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, in fact, on my YouTube channel, you go to azhobbit.com, A-Z-H-O-B-B-I-T.com. And that's just my personal YouTube channel. There's a lot of videos I've made there. And one of them is called The Case Against Teaching. And that is a really fun video to watch. And it's, that's what the book is concerning. Okay. Uh, Rahil Raza is also a Muslim uh, activist. Um, she was on the O'Reilly Factor um, and because she was against building the mosque at Ground Zero. And uh, she's, uh, I'm, I'm her publisher. Uh, we've published How Can You Possibly Be an Anti-Terrorist Muslim? Only on Amazon for now. And How Can You Possibly Be a Muslim Feminist is coming up soon, uh, which will have uh, works by Margot uh, Badron as well, who's a Georgetown scholar. And How Can You Possibly Be a Mormon uh, Feminist is also in the works. But who are you visiting with on that? I actually can't okay. say okay. at the moment. Yeah. And, it'll, what, and you'll see, when it, when it comes out, you'll see why I, can't, to, why, okay. can't, why I couldn't say anything. So. Okay. Uh, and then fi- the final question is then, is what is your favorite part of your faith? I kind of like that there's a really pinko commie liberal Democrat who was my mission president. <laughs> I, ha- I get comfort, actually, knowing that the gospel is broader than, uh, than politics. I like that. Um, oh, and I was put in contact with a communist uh, from uh, you know, Italy recently um, uh, by uh, Alan Moberly. He's a, a great guy. Uh, he, he, at first, when he heard me say I was, a, I was, a, uh, he, I was at the fair conference and he told me, that he heard me say I was a conservative uh, Republican. He saw my book, and he just walked off right then. <laughs> well, later on, 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 a, uh, on a Facebook group uh, of Mormon Democrats, he, he sent me an email and said, you know, I, I, I shouldn't have judged you there. So um, anyway, he, he put me in contact with, a, uh, a, I think, what was basically a communist. And so. he's LDS? Oh, yeah. He's out in Italy. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah LDS. Very, very, Interesting. So um, she is. She, she, she. okay. Uh, so I thought, but she speaks Italian, so I have to, we have to... 
figure out a way to communicate better. But <laughs> yeah. but I, I just love how the gospel is that broad. It's okay. It really, I mean, communism, how can you be a communist? Well, what's going on here? So, yeah. But, uh, no, I'm sorry. It, the gospel is, is broad enough to to have us all in there. So Cool. The name of the book uh, that you can get right now is How Can You Possibly Be a Mormon and a Democrat? Look for other How Can You Possibly uh, titles at howcanyoupossibly.com. And uh, thank you so much for taking some time with us, Joe. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, we hope that this podcast has nourished and strengthened your body. And when the time comes, you'll travel home safely. And if you uh, weren't healthy enough to listen to it this week, that you'll be able to uh, listen to it next week. In the meantime, we'll be saving a seat for you. On the back row of, of the, the Cultural, Cultural Hall. Hall.